it is I, Malor. What took you so long, cousin? You're our leader, remember? No sleeping in. Provisional leader. Just until her ladyship returns. Yeah, well, I think he's doing great. Yeah, <laughs> poor Noah. You got a lot of folks to please. For the past week, I tasked all of you with converting these ruins into an acceptable headquarters. However, there is still much to be done. Oh, please, no more physical labor. I'm so much better at flexing my mind. At least the soldiers have a place to sleep now. Uh, it won't be as fancy as my inn back in Elda's Vice, but I'll make sure everyone gets decent meals. And I'm still combing the mines for any soldiers we missed. If I may, there are a few people I'd like to introduce. The name's Gakto. Emir expressed interest in building a town here, and when I smell profit... Ah, uh, I mean, when I smell justice against an oppressive empire, then I say, sign me up. Just so happens I'm well salted in the art of stewardship. Anyway, one long-term goal is to set up a local guild. I'll keep you posted. I am Iris, an architect and former professor at the University of Carl, who has long dreamt of designing a town of my own. Much to my delight, Emir reached out and has given me the chance to put my skills to use on your behalf. If you find yourself in need of a new building, I am your lady. The University of Carl? Very impressive, Miss Iris. Hello, I'm Kane. Gokto introduced me. I manage your warehouse. If we want our new town to flourish, we'll need countless resources and a place to stash them. That's where I come in. Town's resources! You mind taking me on as an apprentice? Certainly, young lady. There's a lot to learn, but you look like you can keep up. Thank you all. Yet while we've achieved the bare minimum of infrastructure, we must strive for more. It's not just the facilities that are lacking. We need people. Fair enough. Can't call ourselves an army if it's just nine folks and a couple of pitchforks. I've been nosing around Eltisvice and the neighboring villages. Imps are still there, but their patrols are getting sloppy. We might be able to do some recruiting. Then let's hop to it! Bigger headquarters, more comrades, onward and upward! But if you don't mind me adding to the pile, cousin, there's one more matter you gotta tend to. Dare I even ask? It's fine. What is it?
you gotta name this castle. Can't keep calling it the ruins or the castle or whatnot. That ain't gonna impress no one. Now that's an idea I can get behind. Think carefully, man. This is one of those watershed moment dealies. A name for the castle, is it? Very well. Dazzle me with your creativity. Execution, cousin. Well, I suppose that is a name of sorts. Now then, if we are to stage an actual resistance, we must grow our numbers. An army is only as strong as its people, after all. Going forward, you should seek out as many new comrades as possible. And you might not have to go far to find them. We'll give it our best, right everyone? I took the liberty of putting together a little town development plan. Would you care to take a look? It takes a lot to make a town, you know. Building the facilities we need will be hard enough, but we'll also have to find the right people to run them. Building mood, are we? Oh, stores for supplies are a given, but fields and farms would be nice too. If our population grows, we'll also need some entertainment. You can use this development tree to keep track of our progress. It'll be tough finding the right materials and the right people, but I'm sure that growing our town will make the Alliance stronger in the long run. So, you'd best get to it, yes?
I'll go ahead and line my pockets. Hello there, Noah. Welcome to my inn. Or what will serve as one until we return to Elta's vice. I'll make sure it's a place of comfort and joy for all. me when I was warmed up. junk with us. We'll watch it like hawk.
See you next time. How fortunate. you were here. Oh, I've been worried sick about you. Well, now that I've seen you hale and hearty with my own eyes, I have so much news from home. 
You remember Nala from the house behind us? Well, she had her baby, and oh boy, was that ever a hullabaloo. Whole village threw a big celebration. Took me right back to when you and Lean were born. Oh, memories. Shame you had to miss it, but don't forget to drop in and wish her well next time you're home. That's just good manners. Aunt Martha, I can't believe you're here. How's the village? Oh, repairs are moving along just fine, don't you fret. You recall how handy Aless is, right? Well, he's been going around fixing up a right storm. Man's a force of nature. Oh, and Millie, you remember Millie, right? Well, that little darling is all grown up, and she's apparently taken quite a shine to somebody. Anyway, it's only right that we fix the two of them up. Know any matchmakers around here who could help? Um... Oh, and what's this I hear about you becoming some kind of big fancy leader? My little Noah, moving up in the world. Well, you're going to need all the support you can get, which is why I've decided to work here on the farm. Can't fight on an empty stomach, you know. Auntie, please, slow down. I can't... Up, up, up. Not one more word from you, mister. From this day forward, I'm putting my nose to the grindstone just for you. Oh, and if you think your meddling is impressive, wait until you see the table groaning under all of my delicious food. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Where do you keep your farm tools? I'll need seeds, a watering can, a, a wheelbarrow, some string... Hmm... Yes, sir. It's time to roll up my sleeves. Now, you get on with your own work, Noah. Don't pretend you're not busy on my account. Hundred shots, hundred bullseyes. You want to see?
Hey! Do you want something? I'm looking for companions to help expand our new town. Oh, a new town. I like the sound of that. How much fun would it be to just bang out one new house after another? Oof, sounds like a project that'd really get these chopping arms pumping. So the question is, can I depend on you? Okay, I'll tell you what, champ. I'll teach you the ways of the woods, and then you'll get out there and grab 20 pieces of lumber for me. I'm not gonna work with anyone who isn't willing to get their hands dirty and their backs sweaty, you know? You clear on how this works? Huh? Then chop, chop! What's the deal? Hey, what's the deal? This isn't what we agreed on. Stop loafing and get the work done. I.
Keep getting better. Excuse me. Challenge accepted. Bring it on. No. No. Someone put in a hard day's work. Huh. Now that I get a good look at you, those aren't the soft hands of a slacker. Yep, I could depend on a guy with boar hide like yours. Join us. You and I will get a lot done working together. My name's Karen. Great to know ya. Do this. Yes. 
excuse me, have you seen a girl around? Fourteen years old, long black hair? Her name's Marin. I'm sorry, I haven't. Is she in some kind of danger? She's my little sister. She usually stays at home, but she left a note saying she'd gone into the woods to look for herbs. Oh, I expected her back by now, but there's still no sign of her. I can't help but worry that something bad's happened. Okay, I understand. I'll help you find her. Huh? You will? Yeah, she could be in trouble, right? Thanks. I really appreciate that. Marin's got a knack for finding herbs. Pretty rocks and such. So she's probably near one of the forest's foraging spots. I'll show you the way. Follow me! Give it my all. for you. usually does her foraging around here, but I don't see any sign of her. I don't get it. I've told her over and over not to go deeper into the forest. Our parents have passed, so it's just the two of us now. I'm the one who's meant to look out for her, but she's... I 
have a little sister myself. Sounds like she's a very different person from your sister, though. Oh, yeah? Is that why you agreed to help? What's your sister like? She's a bit of an oddball. Excessively adventurous, I guess you might say. She insists that she's the luckiest girl alive and that the runes are somehow smiling on her. <laughs> it's no end of trouble with that one. Wow. You don't have it easy either, huh? I guess you really do know how I feel. Something tells me you and I will get along. But that's a discussion for after we find Marin. Let's go search somewhere else. part of the forest. We should hurry. Yeah, let's go. Glad to see you. Wyler! I, I was so scared. How many times have I told you not to go into the heart of the forest alone? But you got hurt yesterday, and the herbs that would make you feel better don't grow nearby. Ah, uh, you noticed that? I didn't want to worry you. Goose. Keeping so quiet about it made it all the more obvious. It's Noah, right? Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Is there any way I can repay you? Well, actually... Hmm. I'd heard about the Empire. But I assumed that was all happening someplace far away. Now it sounds like it's about to become our problem. I don't know if I could protect Marin if war came to our forest. Noah, I want to join your alliance. Join us! Thanks. My name is Wyler. And when it comes to archery, I don't miss. You'll be glad to have my bow on your side. I'll make sure of that. Then I'm coming, too. Whoa, there. You can't... Look, if 
you're going to be all, I never miss and get yourself hurt again, then you'll need my herbs to feel better, just like you always do. And I bet I could help others with my remedies too. You know it's true, Wyler. Well, I mean, if you promise to stay out of danger. Thanks. My name's Marin, and I'm good at finding herbs and pretty stones. While my brother's looking out for you, I'll look after him. You know, I like what you've done with the place. Well, I'm not resting on my laurels just yet. I promised Perry I'd do my best, after all. Damn right. It's our castle, and we're gonna make it even better. Pooby. Sadly, this is not Pooby appreciation time. The luckiest girl alive is getting smiled upon and living for antiquity again. 
Rather reckless of her, don't you think? Sure is. She might even give you a run for your money. Meaning what, exactly? You heard me. Anyway, let's go. Wave and the Grand Warden are discussing what to do, and we should join them. All right. Marissa. Is it true she took off again, wife? Hoobie? Mm-hmm. No warning. Same as when she first got here. From what I gather, she heard Primal Lens and Treefolk Village in the same sentence, and then poof! Gone. It's my fault. I'm the one who told her. I couldn't help it! She had this glimmer in her eyes when she asked. Eh, don't blame yourself. Someone was bound to let it slip eventually. So what shall we do about this? As I recall, Wave, you promised to watch over her. Do you consider this watching? I was careless, Grand Warden. I'll handle it. I'm sorry, Wave. You shouldn't have to apologize when she's my responsibility. When did I apologize? Oh, back there. Eh, doesn't count. I didn't use the word sorry. Guess being around Marissa is making me pretty good at fake apologies. <laughs> hey! Anyway... Something's eating at me. You heard how they found that primal lens up north, right? And how there's now some kind of war brewing? Might be time the Guardians rethought their place in the world. That strikes me as quite the leap. Yeah, probably. Forget I said anything. Right now, you need to drag your friend home. Shouldn't take you too long if she's a Treefold Village. The only thing faster than me in the woods is the wind. Don't worry. I'll bring her back. I don't care how lucky she thinks she is. Poopy? I'm coming with you. Me too. I know the way. Mind tagging along, Guru? Why? Think they'll need a little extra muscle? Eh, muscle never hurts. Fair enough. Dad! Are you leaving again? Don't worry, baby girl. Dad'll be back at your side before you can blink. Just gotta help Marissa collect a wayward friend is all. I wish to succeed in this task, Marissa. You and Lean are my very first friends. I do not want anything to happen to you. I know, no. All right, then. Lead the way. Did you sleep well, Noah? Way I see it, if you work hard, eat plenty, and sleep like a log, you're living well. <laughs> <laughs> 